Hi, this is Christina Zila with Text Broker. Today, we're talking about author profiles and direct orders. We'll go through how to find the author profile, the features of the author profile, and how to place a direct order. Let's get started. First of all, how do you find the author profile, and what is it? Well, usually, you've placed a few open orders, and you've found an author that you really like. You might want to work specifically with that author, but you want to know a little bit more about them first. Here's how to find the author profile, review it, and then the actions that you can take. First of all, we have to find the order that you liked in order to find the author. You can use the search box here to find your order if you have quite a few. You can search by title, order text, title and text. Nickname would be the author nickname, but that's what we're trying to find, so that's not really going to help us, and order ID. The most common is the order title. That's usually a unique item. Um, and then you just enter it in here, click search, and you'll get the order information. For example, here we've got computers. You'll click on this order title. You'll see the author ID right here, and then show profile. If you don't happen to have any information to search by, no worries. Go to Assignments and Administration, and you've got your projects. Go over to All Completed, and you'll see the orders there as well. Like I said, click on the title, you get the details, and the author's ID, and a link to their profile. So this author has a pretty good profile. They've got a resume, they've got interests, and they've got the languages that they speak. Other authors may have additional information here, including places that they've traveled and writing samples. So you can review this information. You'll see here in the profile itself, besides the resume and any other long form information, you've got their star rating right here. You've got their occupation or major here, their price per word here, the number of items they've written for us, their rejection rate, the categories that they have indicated that they're interested in. And then here are a bunch of symbols. The envelope will send them a message. They'll go just to that author. We ask that you not include any outside contact information in your messages. The feather leaves a note that is private just for you. The author can't see this, and no other clients can see it e either. The check is an auto accept that all items from this author and this author only will be accepted automatically. Please be very careful with this feature. You can turn it on or off at any time. The star is probably one of the most helpful items on the profile. It'll put the author on your favorites list, which will give you easy access to them later. The no sign will put the author on the blacklist. That means the author won't be able to choose any open orders, and you won't be able to accidentally place direct orders with that author. The dollar sign, finally, is a bonus. Authors always love a bonus for a job well done. Underneath the icons, you will always see send the author a direct order. And if you have a team created, you can add an author to the team by clicking on the link here. So if we want to send them a direct order, all we have to do is simply click on this link. And we're taken to the direct order page. Looks a lot like an open order, except the author's information and price is already entered in for you. So there's another way to contact authors. Authors may complete an open order for you and they may send you a message. And you may see that message and say, yeah, golly gee, that's a really nice thing. I want to send them a direct order. Well, here in the messages tab, you'll see your messages. You can click directly on the author's nickname to see their profile. And from here, you write at the profile. You look, can look at the writing samples, languages, send a message, send a message back in this case, put them on your favorites list, and send them a direct order. Well, 
what if you are doing a totally different niche and you want to search for authors? We can do that too, of course. Authors and then search. So we have over 100,000 authors. How are we going to winnow this down to just the people that you want? We have a powerful keyword search. It'll search in profiles. You can search by nickname if you happen to know the author's nickname or part of it. You can search only by folks who have recently been active in the system, cutting out people who may have signed up and done a few items but haven't worked with us in a while. And you can search only for people who have an extended profile. That's the resume, writing sample, travel information, and language information that we saw earlier. The basic profile up here looks like this. So you can also sort by quality level. Say we want only four star authors. You can search by categories that the authors have selected. And you can search by price. So if you have a budget in mind, you can keep that uh, author selection within that budget. You can also increase the minimum. Don't forget about that. And you can work by rejection rate as well. Additionally, you can search by education. Authors can input their highest level of education and by language. So if you're looking to translate your website, you can find all of the authors who, for example, speak Spanish and you can search by type of writing. So you can search for, say, news writers or translators or blog posts, and you can search by industry experience. Usually that industry experience you'll wind up seeing in their profile as well. So right now we've got four star Spanish writers, and let's say we don't just want Spanish writers, but we want people with knowledge about, say, insurance. So we can add in our keyword and have it winnow down just a little bit more. So now we've got two writers who are four star Spanish writing authors and who have insurance in their profile. For example here, Martin, four star, 3.25 cents. He's written 22 items for us. He's got his profile here and he's got his language tab and he's got a little blurb in here in Spanish. So you can take a look at that and see if it's something where you want to send him a message and say, hey, what other Spanish writing have you done? Or, you know what, that's good enough for me. I'm happy with it. I'll add him to my favorites list and send him a, a, a message later. It's always good to send the author a message before you send them a direct order, just to make sure that they have the time and that they're interested in the subject. They may have insurance in their profile, but right now they may be focused on something else entirely. So we have three ways to find our authors. Either they've written for you, or they've sent you a message, or you find them by search. You have the opportunity to send them a message, make a note, auto accept, put them on your favorites list, blacklist them, or send them a bonus, and you can add them to Teams or a direct order, all from your author profile page, reviewing the author profile. Now, we've mentioned the favorites list, so I'm just gonna touch on that really quickly. It's authors favorites. This is where you'll see people who you've put on your favorites list, so you can easily go back to this page and automatically place a direct order by clicking the D order button. Again, that'll take you back here to the direct order page. The author's name and price is input for you. Go ahead and fill the rest out like a regular open order. Calculate order and it will be sent directly to the author and only to that author. So that's how to find authors, place direct orders and put authors on your favorites list. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please contact us at mail at textbroker.com and we'll be happy to help.
Thank you so much. This is Christina Zila for Text Broker.